Hello and welcome to Module 5 of Making Music with Ableton Intro. In this tutorial we'll be creating a drum loop using Ableton's built-in drum machine, Impulse. Let's get started. Okay, so if you go to your Ableton Live Intro project and go to File and create a brand new live set, what we're going to do is bring in an Impulse drum machine and create our own drum beat. So if we just go to Live's Devices at the top left, go to the Instruments section and grab an Impulse and drop it onto our MIDI track. And then we're going to use the techniques that we've talked about before. So we're going to rename this track by clicking on it, right clicking and rename. And we're just going to call this one drums. And now all we need to do is actually drag our samples in. So alongside this course uh, is bundled some drum samples and we just need to point one of our one, two or three browsers here to actually find those samples. So I'm just going to go to number three and then I'm going to click at the top and as I've downloaded my course to the desktop I'm going to go down to desktop and then it's make music with Ableton intro and then we've got our samples folder and we've got our drums and in here we can preview all of the samples as long as our headphone icon is selected blue and if I just want to bookmark this I can click at the top again and click bookmark current folder so I can always access this folder at any time by clicking and selecting it from the list. So I'm going to click on the kick drum and I'm going to drag it and drop it into the first pad on our impulse drum machine. Our second pad I'm going to click and drag our snare. Our third pad is going to be our closed hat. Our fourth pad will be our open hat. And then that's it. We'll just use these four and if we just use the preview buttons you can make sure that they all sound okay. So a quick tip now to create a uh, one bar loop in the MIDI tracks. What you do is you click on your MIDI track, you go down to a clip slot, an empty clip slot, and you just double click. And this will create a one bar loop. And from here, if you navigate down to the bottom, we've got our MIDI note editor is now visible to us. And as you can see, uh, all of our slots here have been renamed. The ones that we've loaded things into now have a name. So we've got our kick, our snare, our closed hat, and our open hat. And if we turn on our headphone icon here, we can actually click and preview each of those samples. So all we need to do now is go up and select our pencil tool, browse down to the bottom, and you'll notice that we've got uh, 1.3, 1 1.2, 1 1 and then 1.3, 1.4. So this is each beat of the bar. So this is the first beat, the second beat, the third beat, and the fourth beat. So as there's four beats in the bar, we want to put our kick on 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4. So we've got four kicks. And then we're going to put our snare on the second and the fourth. Our closed hat is going to go on each of those eighth notes. So we're going to have a closed hat on the kick and one in between the kick as well. Our open hat, we're going to play it round. We're going to put it in between each kick. And then we can just deactivate our pencil tool. And we obviously need to bring the volume of this back because they're getting a bit loud. So if we just click on the track volume of our mixer. And just bring that volume back down. Okay, so now down at the bottom of our screen, we have got the uh, track view selector and our clip view. So at the minute we're in our clip view, which allows us to see all of the notes that we've imported or drawn into our clip. If you want to see the track, we just go down to the bottom right and select the track view selector. And this will show us our impulse drum machine again. And we're just gonna edit some of the values in here just to bring the volumes back. So I'm gonna to go to the closed hat to begin with. So if we double click on the closed hat or just single click, I'm just going to hit the solo button, which is the button just to the right of the preview. And I'm going to bring back the decay time just to make it a bit more clicky. And I'm also going to bring the volume of this right back as well. So let's bring some of the volume down and then we'll turn the solo button off and hear what that sounds like.
Now if we go to the open hat, what I'll do is I'll just bring the volume of this back as well. And we'll turn the decay time up slightly just so that more of that gets heard. And then if we just go to the snare, I'm going to turn the decay right up. And the same for the kick drum, so that we get to hear all of the kick drum and all of the snare. And then we can just hit stop there to stop that track from playing. So at this point, what I'm going to do is just go up and click File, and we're going to save our set. So I'm going to go to Save Live Set As, and then I'm going to browse to our desktop. I'm going to go to our Making Music with Ableton Intro folder. Click on the Project folder, and then our Ableton Intro project. And then I'm just going to rename this, and I'm going to save it as Module 5. Okay, so in this tutorial, we use the Impulse Drum Machine to create a drum loop for our song. In the next video, we'll have a look at Ableton's simpler device, which will allow us to create a bass line and some synth sounds to accompany our drums.